Hello friends, today in this video, let us discuss how to generate SaaS token or SAS token that is shared access signature token for an Azure storage account. So as part of this video tutorial, we are going to discuss three simple approaches to do this. The first one is using Azure portal and the second approach is how we can use PowerShell script to do this. And the third approach is you can also utilize Azure CLI script to create the SaaS token, right? So now what I'll do, let me just navigate to Azure portal where I will log into the portal and I will show you in detail. Okay, now let me go there. So you can able to see I have already logged into my Azure portal. Now let's search for the storage account. I can able to see the search result, click on that. And here you can select the storage account for the one you want to create the SaaS token, right? I will just select this. Now what you can do, you can able to see security plus networking tab on the left navigation. Just expand that. And here, you will find the shared access signature. Just click on that. And you can able to see these are the options you need to select based on your requirement, like allowed services, you can select all, or if you don't want all also, you can deselect based on your requirement. Okay. Then allowed resource types, you can select whatever you want, right? Based on your requirement again. Here, allowed permissions are read, write, update, delete, etc. So, this also you need to choose based on your requirement. Now, the important thing is you can choose the expiry date here. Say, I will choose this one as 22 and uh, let the starting date is today. Okay. Now, here the allowed protocol you can choose and uh, then uh, prefer the routing tier. I will go with the basic one. And then, so signing key, you can either choose key one or key two. Okay, anything is fine. I will just click on the generate SAS and connection tree string uh, as the last step, right? In the moment you will click that, you can able to see the SAS token is generated now. This is the SAS token that we are talking about. Okay, now you can click on this copy button to keep uh, to copy this to your clipboard. And this is the way you can, you know, use Azure portal to create the SaaS token for a storage account. Now, as I told you, there are two other ways also uh, to create the SaaS token for a storage account or to generate a SaaS token for your storage account. Now, the second approach is using PowerShell script. So, what I've done, I've already uh, written the PowerShell script in Notepad. I'll just copy that. I will try explaining you. Okay. Now let me the Azure PowerShell IAC. So I will just run as admin. Okay, I'll just go to it. Now I will go to the Notepad and I will paste that script I was talking about, right? So this is basically the script that we need here okay now i will just click i'll just paste it here and i will try making you understand here let me just zoom it so you can able to see here this is nothing but the storage account name okay now the storage account name that we have already created right so you can able to see this is my storage account name that same storage account name I am just using here, right? We'll just go back to the PowerShell IAC. So this is the storage account name and this is the storage account key, okay? So now where you will get this key? If you'll go to the storage account in the Azure portal again, here what you need to do, you can able to see uh, under the security and networking uh, tab, if you expand that, you can see the access keys, right? So here you will see the key one and the key two. 
okay now the key one if i'll show it you can able to see this is the key one and uh, and if i'll show this one this is the key two right so i will click on the copy to clipboard next to the key one and uh, i will uh, go to the powershell isc again and i will just replace that key with this one okay the current one now this is updated now so either you can use key one or key two if you remember while creating in azure portal also it asked us at the last option right and we need to choose key one or key two so this is the option for that okay so now the next thing is this is the context so here we are using new age at new hyphen age and age at storage context and here the storage account name that we are passing we are whatever we have defined here right and then the storage account key that we mentioned here now the main command here is new hyphen age at storage accounts sas token right so this is the command basically to generate the sas token for your storage account okay along with that we have to uh, pass some parameter like services like we are telling for blob storage right then resource type is service container or and object if you remember we we have chosen few checkboxes while creating in azure portal so these are the options you can include more also if you want right so permission is rl and then the context is my context this is the context that we have defined here right we are storing here right so now what you can do i'll probably zoom a little bit more so that you can clearly see it right oh you can able to see so this is the complete script right and uh, so what so now what we'll do we will just execute the script and we will see whether it is creating successfully or not so you can able to see we got the uh, sas token as this one right so this is this generated the sas token for us so this is the one you can copy it and utilize it wherever you want right so basically if you want this script okay this powershell script or this uh, azure cli script i've already written an article on this particular topic i think i'm going to put it in the video description you can go through that article and copy this script and utilize it okay so this way you can use azure powershell script to generate the sas token right for your storage account as i told you so now the third approach is we can also utilize azure cli script to do that okay now the script i have already written in the notepad let me just show it to you uh, so it to you right so let me just remove. so better what i'll do i'll just copy this script to the powershell isc so that it will be clearly visible for you right just go for a new script and i'll put it here now i will make you understand here and then i will go and uh, execute this script so now you can able to see the main command here is age storage container generate hyphen sas right then here along with that we need to pass few parameter with the value that is one is the account name which is nothing but the storage account name that i have already shown shown it to you right then the and then the name and then the permissions a c d l r w and then the expiry date here we will modify the expiry date to uh, 22 i will make it uh, 22 then auth mode and uh, is the login and then the as user parameter we need to uh, provide this much along with this particular command right so what i'll do let me just copy this and uh, we will go to the portal and we will try login So now let me go to the Azure portal. And here is the cloud cell. I'll click on the cloud cell. It will connect, it will just take few seconds to connect to the terminal. And the moment it will be connected, we will try using this command to generate the SAS token for this storage account. Okay. now 
it is connected already i will just paste it and i will click on the enter button the moment you will do that you can able to see the search token for this particular storage account got generated now you can copy this value within this inverted mark and you can utilize it in your code or wherever you want so this way you can use azure cli as well to generate the search token so that's it for today i thought to quickly show you how to generate sas token for shared access signature token for your azure storage account and these are the three simple approaches you can utilize to do that thanks a lot for watching this video if you found this video little helpful for you kindly subscribe to our channel to support us so that you will get lots of free azure tips and helpful azure powershell commands as well as helpful azure cli commands thanks a lot and have a nice day bye bye